love Cleveland. Born and raised, you know, never gonna leave. Cleveland's, Cleveland's an amazing city. Stipe Miocic will have the eyes of the MMA world on him when he defends his title against Alistair Overeem in Cleveland, his hometown. Yes, sir. There's gonna be a lot of pressure, a lot of motivation for Stipe to train like a madman. And winning that belt and bringing back to Cleveland's been everything. And I ain't giving up this belt for a long time. I tell you that right now. Stipe Miocic is an animal. A guy with significant knockout power. Oh, big right hand! We saw that where he absolutely destroyed Andre Arlovsky in the first round and then demanded his title shot. Come on! Give me a shot! Come on! And then took that title from Fabricio Verdum with a spectacular knockout victory. That's it! It's all over! Stipe Miocic! He is fighting one of the most decorated strikers the sport has ever known. Alistair Overeem is a former K-1 Grand Prix champion in kickboxing. He won the Strike Force Mixed Martial Arts Heavyweight title. He won the Dream Mixed Martial Arts Heavyweight title. And now he has an opportunity to fight for the UFC belt. Yeah, it's been 22 years of training and competing, and it has been a ride. It feels like destiny. He won't fight away from becoming UFC every champion. If there's one guy who can ruin that Cleveland party, it's me. September 10th, the belt is coming to me. Nothing I haven't seen before, and uh, no, he hasn't seen me yet. I am more experienced. I'm more chaos. I'm going to be leaving Cleveland with the belt. I think he's going to make world hurt. You know, something's going down, you ain't gonna be me, Prep point. Metro PCS will get nationwide coverage on the Blazing Fast. 
4G LTE T-Mobile network for just $30, period. The Junior Dos Santos fight was particularly impressive because Junior has looked so good lately as well. And after that, he stopped Andre Orlovsky. And he just really showed the full game that he possesses over the last few fights he's had inside the octagon. The Stefan Struve fight, the unanimous victory over Roy Nelson, really come into his own. 22 years of training and competing, and tonight he has the opportunity to become a UFC champ. is what allowed him to stay composed as Fabrizio was chasing after him and land a couple of excellent punches and then finally the big one that took out Fabrizio and won him the UFC heavyweight title. He is a man who knows how to compete. He is an excellent athlete and he is a guy who has grown inside the octagon particularly since his fight two years ago with Junior Dos Santos. He had a five round war with Junior Dos Santos, which was really the first fight that he had with a world championship caliber fighter. Went the distance, lost a very close decision in an excellent fight, but it was an indicator of how good he really is. And from then, had looked amazing. The stoppage victory of Mark Hunt was sensational. When he blew Andre Arlovsky out of the water, it was incredible. And then got his title shot against Fabrizio Verdum and capitalized in the most perfect way you can. Cleveland, Ohio zone. Stipe Miocic. Our tail of the tape for this our main event of the evening. The champion is 34. The challenger is 36. Overy, three pounds heavier. Everything else is identical. To get it underway, the veteran boys, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this has by the Ohio State Athletic Commission, Executive Director Bernie Pavato, Chairman B.J. Sugar. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Carlo Urso, Derek Cleary, and Eric Cohen. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mark Goddard. This bout is sponsored by Bud Light. Raise one to right now at Metro PCS, where you can get nationwide coverage on the blaring fast 4G LTE T-Mobile Network for just $30, period. And now, this is the moment UFC fans watching around 
around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland, Ohio. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 41 wins, 14 losses, one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 249 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, presenting the former Strike Force heavyweight champion and the number three weight heavyweight contender in the world, the challenger, Alistair. the champion fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 15 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 246 pounds. Fighting out of Independence, Ohio, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, been over the walls in the dressing room, you know, exactly what I expect. You listen to me at all times, you keep yourself protected at all times. And I'll say stop and stop. Do you want to touch gloves with it now? Let's do this. Miocic. Overeem. Five. Five minute round. Here we go! Black trunks for the champion. Blue trunks for the challenger. Alistair Overeem has taken a cautious approach as of late, moving around a lot and looking to counter strike, particularly early in the fight. Look for him to use a lot of movement and avoid the rush of Stipe. He likes to fight from the southpaw position and throw hard power kicks with that left leg. And on the inside, he has some of the best knees in the business. Overeem has beaten six former UFC champions. He is 4-0 since moving to Jackson Link MMA. Miocic has one in 43 seconds. 45 seconds, 54 jar, and 247 to take the belt from Purdue. And there was that hard power kick that we were talking about. Look at that. He's literally running. He got the guillotine. Can he finish it right here, right now? His guillotine is nasty. Miocic in huge trouble. No, he's not. Not even. He's out. And he's chasing over him down. He's still wobbly, though, Mike. He's still wobbly. He's on shaky legs. He looked a bit unsteady when he got up there, Mike. Big welt under his right arm from that left power kick. Stipe shocked and rocked early. And you're dealing with an incredibly high level striker in Alistair Overeem. Arguably the most decorated guy in the history of this division. If he leaves with this belt, there will be no argument. And as far as a striker, Maybe unmatched all time. Oh, well, for sure. There's never been a guy. Oh, he caught him there. Steve caught him with a left. Oh, and Alistair caught him. 87 ball oh, big fight for Overeem. Steve right in the pocket. Right hand by Steve Alistair's in trouble. Crowd. And the crowd reacts. Alistair's in trouble, Mike. He got tagged again. He's got to get off the cage. 
that he's got to move in and close the show. He tags him again. Good right hand by Stipe. Good combination. He was left to the body by Stipe. Miocic, the aggressor. Again, he connects. He doesn't want to chase, though. That's just hurt, Mike. He's hurt. Chase, Alistair Overeem, hurt or not. Both guys have been hurt in this first round. Stipe took a quick glance at the clock after Overeem connected a moment ago. Alistair's wild here, throwing big, winging shots from the outside. Boy, I don't like his defense at all. Hands Preserving his energy. All right, tag him again. The old chief stand right in the pocket. Throws his own tip. Combination. Good combination by Stipe. His technical boxing is outstanding. And Alistair's just winning these weird, crazy punches. Stipe on top. Hammer fist by Stipe. Big ground and pound to the body. Alistair's in all sorts of trouble here, Mike. Postured up. Big shot. He's out. Hit it. It's all over. Stipe Miocic remains the heavyweight champion. Swarm, but Miocic, the aggressor, uppercut, patient, chasing down over him. And you want to talk about vicious ground and pound, hammer fist, postured up, pinpoint accuracy, title defense complete. They are celebrating here in Cleveland. Just like that. Time for our official decision brought to you by Metro PCS. We can get nationwide coverage on the Blazing Fast 4G LTE T mobile network for just $30, period. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 27 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Steve Hale. 
Sanchez. I'm here with the winner and still champ. Cleveland loves you, Steve Bay. What a fight. What a fight. What a round. Did that go anything like you expected? Well, he kicked harder than I thought, you know. I think he put me on my ass, didn't he? I mean, I wasn't hurt, but he just put me on my ass. I felt fine. He got the guillotine, team, whatever. I trained every day. Like, you know, I'm a boxer, wrestler. But I trained that shit every day. But hey, I don't give a shit. I won the fight. I'm still heavyweight champ, like I said I was. So when you got dropped here, you you weren't hurt. It was just a flash knockdown. Not even. I was just they put me on my ass. It kicks hard as fuck. When I get kicked by him, I weren't kicked either. I, I believe there was a punch too that dropped you. That was one of one of the moments in the round. It was a wild back and forth round. But when you had him up against the cage, it seemed first of all, were you shocked that he was moving away from you as much? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna hit with this. I mean, and I understand why, you know, man. He's a tough guy. He's a veteran. He's fought the best in the world. But listen, man, I told you I'll keep his belt for a long time. Well, you kept his belt tonight, sir. And let's look at the finish. You got him down to the ground. And once you got him down, you rained down some ferocious ground and pound and eventually shut the lights out here. Give us your thoughts. What was going through your mind? Shut him down. Put him out. Turn the motherboard off. And you turn the motherboard off indeed. The winner and still UFC heavyweight champion. How good does that sound, sir? Oh, oh, it's a baby Ohio. Cleveland. The baddest man on the planet, ladies and gentlemen, Stipe Miocic. I'm here with Alistair Overeem. Alistair, obviously the fight did not go as you wanted it to, but you did have your moments in the fight. You had him hurt, or at least it looked like you had him hurt. Give us your thoughts on what happened. Stephen was the better man today. He's a great athlete, he's tough, he always comes to fight. There's one thing I can't say about the fight. I believe when I punched him and he went down, I followed him, I got him in a guillotine choke, and I clearly felt a tap. The ref didn't see it, the ref didn't jump in. So the fight continued, but in my opinion, he tapped, and um, it's a bummer. We're gonna have to go back to the drawing boards. I think I am the better fighter, but not today. You think he tapped, and you think that, did you let go when you felt like he tapped? Yes, the referee didn't, uh, didn't come in, so, but he clearly tapped. Well, let's take a look at it. We'll have the truck pull it, and let's look at the big screen. Let's take a look at it right here. You dropped him, you had him hurt, you grabbed a hold of the guillotine, you held on strong. We'll take a look at the whole thing in slow motion. Tell us when you see the tap. Here it is, you got it locked up. You felt like it was in the beginning? Did you see it there? You didn't see it there, but you felt it. We'll take a look at it one more time from another angle and see if we can isolate it, just to give you the benefit of the doubt. We'll see it one more time. Here's the punch. You dropped him. You had him hurt. You grabbed the hold of his neck. Where do you see the tap? That looks like he's trying to find his way through your arms. Well, it, it didn't look like a tap to us, but I understand that you felt that way. And thank you for a great fight. We'll see you again. Cleveland, thank you very much for the hospitality. I can only say great things about this city. Thank you until next time. Alistair Overeem, ladies and gentlemen. Alistair Overeem denied his opportunity to win the last belt that he believes belongs on his great showcase of championships. And what a moment for Cleveland. What a moment for Stipe Miocic.
to defend here inside Quicken Loans Arena to defend the title as a proud Clevelander the very first time the UFC comes to his hometown. The next time you'll see us back.